The reason we're working on an AIDS vaccine is because we, we want to control this global pandemic that has uh, ravaged uh, a large percentage of the human population. Almost three million people are infected with HIV every year, and of those, about 300,000 of them are, are children. Well, the ultimate goal of our vaccine is to have a vaccine that can be used worldwide to prevent HIV infection. Uh, first of all, the virus is, is highly variable and we have to develop a vaccine that's effective against all the strains of virus that are uh, circulating in, in the world. The virus envelope protein itself is extremely complex. It's got 18 disulfide bridges and 26 glycosylation sites. So the virus is covered with a cloud of carbohydrate that prevents the binding of antibodies to the surface of the, the virus. and we. We know that there are a few antibodies that are able to penetrate this cloud and neutralize the virus, and we have to develop a vaccine that stimulates those antibodies and inactivate the virus. Uh, I think there's tremendous optimism in the scientific community um, based on, on several new lines of, of data that have developed over the, the last four or five years. Uh, first was the successful RV144 vaccine trial it was carried out in Thailand and showed that it was possible to prevent HIV infection by vaccination. In addition, the, the 3D structure of the HIV envelope protein was finally solved after many years of effort, and that's provided a, a roadmap of how to formulate the vaccines and how to create vaccines that, that target the sites where the neutralizing antibodies bind. In addition, a rare group of individuals called elite neutralizers have been identified. Those people are able to make antibodies that are really effective in, in destroying the virus. And we now know where those antibodies bind. And the new vaccine program we've started at, at UC Santa Cruz uh, takes advantages of all three sources of new information. So part of the challenge in making an effective vaccine is actually finding a way to manufacture it in a, in a cost-effective, uh, efficient fashion. And that's one of the expertises we have here. Part of our work here is to train the next generation of scientists that will be able to respond to the new, the next outbreaks that, that come along.